Good evening, friends and visitors to Albania. We welcome you once again to our Aura News broadcast. It is now time for our English Flash News edition. As usual, I'm Daniel Cook, your host, Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. In today's news, a Turkish company has purchased 60% of the Albanian television station, Channel 1, 60% of the stock. And soon they will be working hand-in-hand -hand with our station, Aura News. In fact, Kurum Holding Albania and Uldon Media Group have started a new era of cooperation, which is sur surely destined to be a successful in the media sector. The Turkish company Kurum Holding Albania has acquired 60% of the stocks of the television station Channel 1 and has now started cooperation with Uldon Media Group, which owns the radio, television, or a news as well. The agreement was signed today by the president of Uldon Media Group, Ulyan Drochi, and the president of Kurum Holding Albania, Hashmet Bedi Kurum. Mr. Kurum explained some of the reasons why he decided to enter the media market via Channel 1, instead of going through one of his other offers. He said, We have been thinking for a long time now about becoming part of the Albanian media. We thought that buying stocks from Channel 1 was the best option, since we share common mentality with Uldon Media Group, stated the president of Kurum Holding Albania. This agreement will increase the cooperation between the two companies even further. On his part, the president of Uldon Media Group, Ulyan Drochi, emphasized that this cooperation will serve only the people, and not only the people, but the entire country, on its path toward the European Union. He said, I am proud of the investments I have made so far in the media sector. My investments have been in service of the people of Albania. The entire group of Uldon Media has worked with the purpose of serving the public. I hope that this cooperation will also serve the president of Kurum Holding and the Albanian public. The world of media is interesting, but also very difficult. You must be prepared when working with me, because I have a slogan, serve only the people and create media without any political influence. I am an ambitious man. I want to go forward on the path toward Europe. If we invest in integration, we must also invest in technology since technology and impartiality will serve the people of Albania and lead the country toward Europe, said Mr. Ndrochi. The head of the Party for Unity and Human Rights held an argument today with, with Prime Minister Adi Rama during today's parliamentary session. The head of the Human Rights Party insisted that the new territorial reform has violated the Convention for the Rights of Minorities. He said that there have always been Greek minorities living in Himara and that the reform intrudes upon their rights. The Prime Minister of Albania, Adi Rama, said that Himara itself is not a, a minority and that this matter should be discussed no further. According to the head of the Party for Human Rights, the government has not done enough to protect the rights of the minorities living in Albania. The Prime Minister responded to this by saying that the party head is mentioning problems do, that do not actually exist. Rama added that the protection of minorities is something that Albania does very well and something that we can be proud of. He concluded by saying that cooperation is needed to improve the situation of minorities even further. For nearly a week now, the people of Albania have been complaining about the quality of fuels that they have been pumping into their vehicles. However, it seems that so far, the, Minister, uh, the Ministry of Industry and Energy has not taken any real steps to solve the problems that exist. People continue to complain that their vehicles are being destroyed by this low-quality fuel. Experts are saying that some gas stations are mixing processed oil with other kinds of products, something that can cause serious damage to vehicles. The Central Technical Inspectorate has punished several companies here and there, but nothing has been done to abolish and eradicate this problem e entirely. Many of the Albania's drivers are stating that they have already had to repair their vehicles several times already because of the damage caused by this low-quality fuel. Others are even claiming that their cars have broken down while they were driving because of this problem. Meanwhile, 
The former head of the Central Technical Inspectorate has been accused by the High State Control for abusing tenders when he was in position as the head of the municipality of Duras. He is accused of causing damage to the Albanian people. In the ongoing case of the theft from the Central Bank of Albania, the former general inspector of the, the Central Bank is going to be tried separately from the other 14 defendants in the case. During the proceeds against 15 former employees of the highest financial institution in Albania, the Court of Tirana has accepted the request of the former general inspector to be tried separately from the other defendants. The court has also accepted the request of 10 of the defendants to have an abbreviated trial. The prosecution in this case said that the former director of the Treasury Department, as well as nine other former employees, are accused of abuse of office, which in turn led to the theft. The prosecutor added that if these people had followed the law in the first place, then the theft would have been detected and stopped as far back as 2012. So far, 19 people have been accused in the scandalous case in which 713 million lek were stolen from the Central Bank of Albania. The Minister of Agriculture has denied any increase in the price of eggs, despite the fact that the market data clearly shows the opposite. The price of eggs has increased by three lek apiece. Merchants are saying that their supplies are coming in at higher prices than before and that this increase has been occurring for more than a month now. Edmond Panariti had this to say about it. There have been speculations that the price of a single egg has now reached 30 lek, but this is entirely untrue. If you want to buy eggs from Sheraton, then you are right, they cost 30 lek, stated the Minister of Agriculture. Unfortunately, the situation in the market does not reflect these statements by the Minister. For over a month now, the price of eggs has been increasing, and not only in expensive locations, like the minister was alluding to. Eggs are a very basic product, important for the health and well-being of the Albanian people. Therefore, the minister promised that he will monitor the situation personally. However, he did not give any details about the measures that he would be taking. The American Chamber of Commerce has appealed to the government to strengthen the laws that protect intellectual property. The president of the Chamber of Commerce said that the law must be improved in order to give incentive for young people to stay here in Albania. He said, the government must continue its work because legal improvements are necessary. If there is a lack of good legislation, then people will simply go elsewhere. It is necessary for Albanians to invest in the country in which they were born. The protection of the intellectual property would increase the investments in the domain of art and cinema, as well as the innovation in these fields, stated the President of the Chamber of Commerce, Mark Crawford. The Vice Ambassador of the United States, Henry Jarmindi, said that the amount of piracy that takes place in Albania is extremely high, and the government needs to fix the legislation and get more in line with the laws of the European Union. The transportation sector has given warning of strikes and massive protests if the government fails to pay attention to their needs. The transportation industry claims that the problems have increased drastically since the startup of a new company that operates between Tirana and Elbasan. They feel that the public transportation rights belong only to the current operator. When asked whether this viewpoint is monopolistic, the head of the Society of Transportation merely stated that this is what the law says. The Soccer Federation of Albania is going to continue its battle against the decision that awarded Serbia the victory some time ago. The recent decision of the appeals court did not change the original call made in the case, but the Soccer Federation of Albania is not giving up the fight just yet. The appeals court in question is an institution that is independent from all sports organizations. It offers its services to mediate with any problems that may exist between organizations, 
using procedures that are adapted for special needs in the world of sports. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all the news for this evening. We thank you for joining us. Please watch again tomorrow at 6 p.m. for more Albanian news in English right here on Or News. We thank you and good night.